Now, let's set the carousel to the slider this time. Let's go to the views again. Edit view. Let's clone this block. Display name. We name it as carousel. This block especially for carousel. Apply. Now for carousel, there's no need body field. So we click on this settings. We first disable this one, twist back to none, right? And we apply this only to this block, right? Apply. And we remove this as well. Apply to this block. Remove. So scroll down, take a look. All right. I think for the image type, we can choose flex slider thumbnail. Okay, make sure this is applied to this block alone. Apply. That's good. Let's back to our slider block. Double check. Settings. Everything okay. Make sure it's not affected. So click on block. Maybe we make it slightly clearer. Slider. Apply. Scroll down. Okay, everything looks great. So let's save it. Okay, let's go to block, structure, blocks. Let's scroll down. Okay, look for view slideshow block carousel. Configure again. Now for the block title, I think I will hide it. No need. This one was signed back to content region again. Only show it in the front page. Save the block. Go down again. Double check. All right. Make sure this slideshow, this carousel is under slider. All right. So let's scroll down. Save the blocks. Let's go and check it out on the plant page. Take a look. All right. This should be a carousel, but it doesn't seem working. It's fine. Now we will create two separate option set for slider, one for slider and one for carousel this time so that they will use different settings based on their own way of working. So let's copy flex slider this time. This is the configuration page for flex slider. You can actually create um, many different set for the option set. This is the default option set. All right? Let's clone the default set. Click here. Clone. Let's rename this one to slider. Machine name to slider. Right. All in small letter. All right. So let's scroll down. Click on navigation and control settings. We we'll turn this off for the slider. We do not need the paging controls. We we'll off it. Scroll down. I think we we'll save it. That's all for this one. And we clone one more time from the default for the carousel. Clone it. Name it as carousel. Machine name. Carousel. Again. Scroll down. Now for animation, remember that we must set to slide. Okay. Otherwise it won't work. Now scroll down further. There's item width you can set here. If we go back to a flex slider page, scroll down here. All these are the settings you can configure in the option set in Drupal. Right? So for carousel, we set the item width to 210 pixel. Let's do the same. Let's back to our Drupal site. For item width, we set to 210. All right. For the item margin, we'll set it later. As we also need to write a CSS style for the carousel to ensure this works perfectly. So we'll leave it first. Now scroll down. Back to navigation and control settings tab. We'll turn off the basing controls to off. All right. I think that's all for now. We'll adjust it again later. 
So let's save this option set and back to our views to choose the relevant option set we have created here. All right. So let's back to our view, structure, views, slideshow. Now for the slider, format slider settings, we click on this. For option set, we can set it to slider. And we'll give you element ID here, call it slider. In other words, there will be ID given to this slider. All right. We don't apply to all. Instead, we apply to this block. All right. So go to carousel block. We do the same. Settings. For option set, we set carousel. That's mean we are using the carousel option set we created just now. Now for element ID, we use carousel. Apply. That's great. So we made it clear that one is for the slider, the top part, and another is a carousel, which we use as a navigation. Clear? Now let's save it. Now back to our option set. Let's copy again. We need to do our last configuration to let these two views to be able to sync and communicate with one another. Now let's open our slider option set, add it under advanced options. Now for slider, we'll sync it with carousel. That's the ID we assigned just now to our views, remember? Right? So for slider, we sync it with carousel. Scroll down, save it. And for carousel, we add it. Advanced options. For carousel, we use as navigation for the slider. This is the ID slider that we have assigned in our views earlier. Remember? Okay. So we save it. If you are not clear, you can check it out the flag slider page again. Let's go to the page again. Now you can see here. For the carousel, we use it as a navigation for slider. And for the slider, we sync it with carousel. So their relationship are actually tied here. You may need to take a little time to understand this. But once you get the idea, the relationship between the two, you know how it works in Drupal. And you can create other set within your Drupal website as well. Now one more time, for slider, we sync it with carousel. And for carousel, we use it as the navigation for slider, right? So let's go back to our Drupal site. I think we have done everything. Back to our front page, check it out. Scroll down. That's great. Right? Like this. And uh, let's move. That's great. Let's add a bit of margin to each item in the carousel here. So back to our carousel option set. Add it. Scroll down here. Our item margin will set to 5. Now there's a reminder here. It says that the margin must be set in your CSS styles. So we got to open our text editor again and write a CSS rule. Let's open our text editor. below here carousel id all right we target all the li and we give it a margin right the same pixels we set in the option set all right margin by right, five pixels we save it now back to our Drupal site scroll down and save this item margin scroll down that's great so we have a margin right of 5 pixels, right? I think there's a gap here. Maybe we can reduce the gap here. Let's check it out. All right, that's flex slider. Margin 60. Back to our text editor. Let's um, I'll put it on the top here. Right. We give you a margin, bottom, maybe 20 will do, save it, 
drag to our side, close it, and refresh. Okay, it looks much better now. Great, it all works perfectly now. Let's proceed to the next.